There we go. Watch this. It's with a heavy heart that I rise to inform members of my resignation as Speaker of the House of Commons. A high-profile resignation in Ottawa. The Speaker in the House of Commons steps down following days of controversy. Oh, 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 oh. Good evening. The resignation came amid mounting pressure from opposition critics and even colleagues. Mm -hmm. The condemnation coming after Anthony Rota honored a man in Parliament who once fought for the Nazis. CTV's he was SS. Respondent Judy Trin has SS. SS. It's with a heavy heart that I rise to inform members of my resignation as Speaker of the House of Commons. Anthony Rhoda called being Speaker his biggest honor, but his actions brought disrepute to Parliament. The work of this House is above any of us. Last Friday, the Speaker recognized a 98-year-old Ukrainian veteran from his riding, not knowing that Yaroslav Honka fought with a Nazi unit during the Second World SS War. SS unit! What happened was completely... See this woman? She's a bag of shit. A real bag of shit. And... A really deputy prime minister really damaging event for communities in Canada particularly our Jewish community and around the world particularly for our friends in Ukraine Rhoda made two apologies insufficient for the diplomatic landmine he set off calling Honka a hero with Ukraine's Jewish president yeah. Vladimir Zelensky how embarrassing this is by far the biggest hit Canada's diplomatic reputation has ever taken agreed in its history agreed and it happened and I don't like this guy either Hunka was part of the SS Galician a military unit that killed thousands of Jewish and Polish people there it is today on social media Poland's education minister called for Hunka to be extradited and tried for war hang him a position the NDP leader I hate this because a real commie scumbag too who falls with Nazis should be held to account and that is an appropriate action. And with the case of an extradition, it should be done following the rule of law. So far, the prime minister has only made brief remarks on the matter. Of course. Yesterday, this was deeply embarrassing. You're embarrassing. And for Canada. Jewish advocacy groups are demanding more from the government. I think an apology from the prime minister is an important step. I think it's also important that there be uh, an investigation, uh, a hearing, through uh, a parliamentary committee to really understand how this could have happened. With Rhoda's resignation, parliamentarians will vote for a new speaker on Thursday. It's only the third time since Confederation that a speaker has been replaced mid-session. Unbelievable. Judy Trin, CTV News, Ottawa.